Hey guys, how are you all doing today? Now for today's video, I want to discuss InGen, the company that literally brought us dinosaurs into our real world. Specifically, I want to discuss the files that um, listed all of the dinosaurs that they had made. InGen listed all the dinosaurs that they had cloned or were ready to make in from 1994 uh, during their cleanup. Now just to be clear, this will not include dinosaurs that Ms. Ronnie Global has made, but with a slight exception of the secret um, dinosaurs from the amalgam testing, which will be the last part. So let's go over the ones on Isla Nublar first. Now we all now the first and most important one is Brachiosaurus, with originally they have bred six on for Nublar with one casualty. Other herbivores were the Parasaurolophus, which many people somehow do not realize is one of the dinosaurs we actually see in the first Jurassic Park. Many assume that its debut was in the Lost World. However, it is one of the four dinosaurs to have appeared in all five movies up to this point, and most likely will appear in the sixth one. With um, a drastic hit to their on populations due to uh, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, as well as on possibly Dilophosaurus. Another one, which is the first time we actually got to see an animatronic dinosaur, the Triceratops. You like my Jeff Goldblum impression? Gallimimus was also in the run, which is probably one of the very few um, fully bird-like dinosaurs. They were really hit by um, Rexian and killed from having their current population in 1993 being 24. In 1994, they got all the way down to nine. Originally, there were only three carnivores cloned, those being Dilophosaurus, with them staying um, fully the same, Tyrannosaurus Rex, Rexy to be precise, and the Velociraptors. All three were dead, however, it was discovered that they had been breeding, which are the egg shells that we get to see in the first movie. Interestingly enough, in the 1994 um, cleanup of um, Isla Nublar, they discovered that copies had managed to um, reach Isla Nublar. They discovered it was due to them stowing away on boats that were going to Isla Sorna which made an interesting problem for them because what about um, them going to the main? First of those is another sauropod, the Mementiosaurus, which is massive. Another interesting one was the Edmontosaurus, which um, we have sadly not get, yet seen in the Jurassic franchise up to this point. Apart from a, sc a skull in the um, Rex nest, but other than that, that's that's it. Um, Stegosaurus, which I was actually surprised originally was not in the first one. It was in the first novel, but basically on um, the Triceratops and Stegosaurus' roles between the first Jurassic Park and Lost World were actually um kind of swapped with um in the novel the Stegosaurus being the sick dinosaur and the Triceratops in the movie, and for the um, Stegosaurus um, introduction in the Lost World, that was actually with Triceratops. Kind of weird, but I don't know. One of my favorite small herb, smaller herbivores, the Pachycephalosaurus, was also a Sorna-only dinosaur. My god, it's cute. Now let's get into carnivores, and my god, there were a lot, there were a lot of first one that was only on Sorna, however, was not seen until Fallen Kingdom, as well as the next one, is the Carnotaurus. Now, we don't fully know what the um, engine version of the Carnotaurus looks like, because we've only seen um, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdoms, which is most likely the Mizrani versions, because we know Mizrani cloned many of them dinosaurs. Another one that we were introduced to in Fallen Kingdom, however, was um, it's supposed to be on Nublar, 
well, not new bar, I'm not 100% sure, but they did have an enclosure ready for them, was the Baryonyx. And in fact, many people have assumed that um, the Fallen Kingdom variation of the Baryonyx is actually what engines look like, more, um, more of their face shrink wrap and their claws on. Um, very different to the way because um, on the Jurassic World website, the version that we were introduced to was a yellow one with some quills in the back, which was actually really cool looking. I think they changed to make um, the Baryonyx look more realistic, but then again, those are just some theories. I don't know if I fully agree with them. Another prehistoric creature, Tyrannodon, which there are technically two versions on there. The, um, the um, Lost World ones, which have the blue, blue um, crest piece, and personally is my favorite design, and the Jurassic Park 3, the, the teeth one, you know, the ones. But those are all the confirmed clone dinosaurs. However, Engines List also shared um, the um, inactive dinosaurs, meaning the ones that they had DNA for but were not, had not been cloned. Two of these would be cloned eventually, and I'll get to those near the end. Let's start with the carniv carnivorous um, dinosaurs that were inactive. First being Allosaurus, which I did not realize was on Engine's list until um, quite recently. I discovered that Allosaurus was on there, with only 12%, so not even close. Another um, interesting one that I really personally would love to see is the Sigisaurus, which was less than 50% viable. However, it is another sm very small carnivore. About, I think it's a little bit bigger than Combi's, but it's definitely smaller than like Velociraptor, Dilophosaurus. Other one which may come up in Jurassic World Dominion if the um, belief of um, the dinosaurs seen for the on set pictures in Malta, the Herrera source, which we know was actually cloned, however, um, was actually cloned, however, they only had 60% of that, so they were not fully completed at the point, but they were cloned, so I forgot to mention that, I apologize. Metriacanthosaurus, which um, was not cloned, but was also had a um, paddock ready for it, so it is possible that they were cloned, but on the engine's list it says that it's inactive, so we'll go with that. And also, a rather um, very questionable one, the Suka Mimes. The reason why this is, um, very, is quite questionable is because the Suka Mimes was not discovered until 1999, I believe. I know it was um, past 1997 when this um, was released to the public in the Jurassic franchise, that is. So, however, here's the thing. That's, Jurassic World is its own universe, so it doesn't have to play by our rules. Now, herbivores that were not ready were um, Apatosaurus, which would become a main feature in Jurassic World, of course, we all know. Like, it's in, like, what, three different enclosures? An interesting one that was originally going to appear in Fallen Kingdom and caused a whole um, issue with the toy line was the Pachyrhinosaurus. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about by toy catastrophe, this originally for the Fallen Kingdom line for Mattel, their um, Sinoceratops toy was actually molded to be a Pachyrhinosaurus because they originally were planning to have that as the new Ceratopsian. But it was a mistake. And the final one that is um, legal, and I'll get to that in a second, is the Euoplocephalus, which is an, an ankylosaurid. But that is all the um, dinosaurs they had up to 1997. However, there are still four more that we must go over that were cloned illegally in the mysterious amalgam testing. Now, if you don't know what I mean about illegal, you see, in 1997, when the bull T-Rex um, ran through um, 
San Diego and killed quite a few people, including a David Kett. What happened was there was John Henry made um, an agreement with um, the government of both America and Costa Rica to um, make um, the islands restricted, and also Injun was forced to um, share all their information on the dinosaurs, including this list. However, two di four dinosaurs appeared in Jurassic Park 3 that were not on that list. Well, two of them were on the active list, but they were still real. Now, the first one of these is the Corythosaurus. Now, the Corythosaurus is a, another hadrosaur. They got a lot of those. Which in Jurassic Park 3 only appeared in a little um, stamp, dino stampede scene for like like less than 10 seconds, so didn't really make a big impact. Although it's actually one of my favorite Hadrosaur. Another one which was also very close to completion, the Ankylosaurus. Now Ankylosaurus would, would be in Jurassic World as well. However, it, it was only at 91% and was illegally cloned, of course. However, let's get into two carnivores that were not. Let's, the first one is Ceratosaurus, which, um, just to be clear, these two were never known to the public. Ceratosaurus was um, shown only once in a pointless poop joke scene, which, fun fact, if you didn't know, originally the Ceratosaurus poop scene was actually going to be with a Carnotaurus. So Carnotaurus was actually going to have a rough start, although the only reason it was changed was because in 2000, Disney released their dinosaur movie, which the main villain dinosaur was a Carnotaurus, although it basically t rex so they felt like if they used it, they'd be like um, insulting Disney dinosaur, which there it is. You insult the Ceratosaurus. However, Ceratosaurus will be getting his justice because of he is going to appear in Camp Cretaceous season two, and I cannot be more excited. But besides all of those, we all know the uh, biggest, baddest um, dino of those before is the Spinosaurus, which. Uh, yeah, it was the biggest badge because it killed a T-Rex. So. Interestingly, the amount of intestinal um, effects may be the reason why the Spinosaurus really um, went after the, um, uh, char the human characters and like wouldn't stop chasing them. Perhaps it had such a hatred for humans because of what happened to these guys. However, we don't fully know all the secrets of what happened here. But guys, that about wraps up. That is everything on um, Engine's list, as well as on the um, secret dinosaurs as well. Now, I did not include um, the Troodon or um, Tylosaurus for this list, although I might as well just point them out. And if you don't didn't know, for Jurassic Park the game, the um, Telltale um, game that was released 2011, um, which was supposed to be a game that follows the characters during the events of um, Jurassic Park and a little bit after. What ha we were introduced to two new dinosaurs. Well, one a dinosaur, one a prehistoric reptile. The Troodon. Now those are not 100% confirmed to have been cloned. However, they were supposed to be for. Um, when Jurassic Park opened, they were supposed to be part of a Wave 2, or at least the title source was. I'm not sure about the Troll, though. But other than that, guys, what do you think? What do you think about Engine's list, and what other secrets do you are there from Engine that still have not been shared? I will, next week I will be discussing um, all the dinosaurs that was run in World of Minecraft. That will also include the ones that who are brand new as well as uh, some of these guys that they have come. But if you've enjoyed this video, leave a like, and if you want to leave a comment, till next time, be safe uh, and hit, hit the subscribe button slash join the hunt if you 
want to. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.